Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail with another FTL Faster Than Light Challenge run. As the last time, I actually managed to win one for the Gipper, I guess you could say. Maybe, maybe not. I took the microwave all the way to Sector 8 and fried the Rebel flagship using only ion weapons and beam weapons and it went very smoothly, maybe a little too smoothly. So today, YouTube user Hybrid100 has suggested something that he suggested multiple times and we are going to go for it. That would be a my most dreaded, least favorite challenge run to date with my least favorite ship. We're going right back to this. You all really like me, don't you? It is going to be a missiles only challenge. No transporting, no shit like that. Just missiles, 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 and that is it. How's this going to go? I have a feeling this is going to go pretty badly, but if we could call the other ship the microwave, I'm sure we can just call this boom, not boom, but boom, boom, tastic. There we go. We're not going to be at all not obvious about what's going on here. Now, are there other ships that we could try and do a missiles only run with? I think one of the Mantis ships comes with just missiles or bombs or something, but I think the Rock A is going to be the best option here. So let's go ahead and get this one started. I'm already dreading how this is going to go. Rock people move so slow. Missiles take so long to activate. I start out with 28, but that is not going to last very long. So I'm going to have to be constantly minding my missile amount here, and we're just going to start right away and see if we can get something better than just 19 scrap for 3 fuel. Not a terrible trade. Can do worse. And right away in the asteroid fields, maybe I can... Okay, that's not good with the drone control there. Okay, this could be a terrible run right away as my oxygen is now out and oh wow am I actually not going to be able to uh, do what I need to do here? Let's take out the drone first and we'll see what we can do about getting these beams deactivated. Oh my. This is not going to go well. Let's see there's unfortunately five health on this guy so uh, the hull missile's not going to be able to do as much as I'd like for it to do. But yeah, I did survive the beam menace. It looks like there was some repair drones on there, so that could have gone worse, getting two missiles. Not a missile neutral encounter at all. And somehow getting hit by that asteroid at the very end there, so... Stinks just a little. But not too much you can do. So, asteroid belt down. I do not have the option turned on that lets me see what node is connected to what node, so I really don't know what's going on here. So, let's see here. The fools of plate-filled sector. Private field sector for the cargo safety, looking for less incompetent captains to investigate, so let's go investigate. There's a quest marker all the way down there. Hopefully this is connected to the exit. If not, we do have some time to go back up and around, I guess. This is a very weird sector layout. So let's intervene and try and defend here. Should, only, should be able to do this in just two missiles. So I guess that's one nice thing is that I can just fire away however I want. Hopefully this missile doesn't hit my weapons room. Nope, it just missed entirely. There we go. So, come on, hull missile, do your thing. Would love it if this was a smooth encounter. And it was. So let's hear one missile and more missiles. Yay. So far we're doing okay. Now, once again, I don't know what's connected and what's not. So this is going to be interesting. I have a feeling I may be backtracking here in just a second. So scan for the lost ship and, oh, damn it. Uh, shipping chased by a pirate. This is the missing delivery ship. You must rescue them. Well, that's fun because Zoltan shields are a uh, great way to make my day here. As I have 67 scrap, I probably could be doing a little more with it than I am right now. But unfortunately, okay, piloting going out is not good. Oxygen going out is not good. Please, oh, damn it. So it's going to take three missiles to take out the Zoltan shield. That is awful. And especially now with my hull missile just not firing at all. This is why Zoltan weapons are the devil. So shields down, that's not good. Fortunately hit their weapons room just in time. Said so just in time. Just gotta get some repairs in and maybe we can have a good show of it. Probably should have fired that Artemis missile because that is not good. I am gonna lose my capability to actually hurt them in a moment. Fortunately, as much as I don't like taking system damage, at least I do not take fire damage here. Because apparently that rock stomp is exactly what you need 
to take out stuff. And once again, I, I'm a little irritated by the whole line in the middle there on the ship. But I'm going to get fired upon here again in just a moment. As I'd really prefer to just fire a hull missile. So we may try that one out momentarily. And that's strictly to save what we have. Because my one shield will protect me from what I got right now. It's just the double laser that's a problem. As we have people who are hurting. So I'll need to fix that in a moment. Please, please. There we go. And actually managed to miss as well, so... Do some quick, super slow healing. And let's think about what we got on our ship here. I don't know if there's any stores nearby. But right now, if there's anything I need to upgrade, it's probably shields and doors. So if there's not a good store present for me, so we'll get Steli back up. I also need to save for weapons and save for missiles, and that's where a lot of my budget's going to be going. Unfortunately, no, these are not connected, and I doubt any of those are, so we are going to be backtracking. The Rebel Fleet's not going to catch up with us. Once again, for those of you itching to comment and say, Hey dude, why don't you just change your settings? It's because I'm a dick, and I, I like to screw things up sometimes like this so just wasting some extra fuel but so far things have been going pretty smoothly I'm sitting on 80 scrap I kind of want to see if there's a store by the exit if there's not after this next jump I am just gonna upgrade my shields it better yet look more stuff no missiles though and we get a store and I should be able to go to the store then the exit just fine I may hold on to my rock plating just for now so it's here. Cannot use either of those. Crew teleporter could be a good purchase if only for random events, but right now I think we are just going to buy some missiles, buy some repairs, and be on our merry way. Because drone control can't use drones for weapons. Could possibly buy a repair drone or something, but not the same. Cloaking would be fantastic to have early, but that's a pipe dream. So we'll start there. That'll let me tweak my power as needed, so down to the exit, maybe some other good missile weapons available. I don't know. Um, do I want to fight this Zoltan ship? Nope, I'm going to accept their bribe. Would have loved to have gotten some scrap with that, but you can't always get what you want. Next sector, rock or NG sector? Let's go with, let's see here, the rock sectors get kind of interesting or dicey because of their plating. Let's go to the NG sector. I don't feel like I've been to NG sectors in a while, not to mention, well, let's see here, I, uh, maybe I should have gone to the rock sh sector because I could have gotten a damaged stasis pod. Oh, well, I don't remember if you can get those in the NG sectors. I don't believe you can. Oh, yes, we can. There we go. So, oh, wait, no, our shields are down much longer. So rock armor, hey, we'll take this. So we saved you from asteroid, and only gave us a 16 scrap. Shows what good Samaritans are worth or capable of. I don't know. So let's get to the storage cache. Unfortunately, cloaking is a terrible weapon to face. Especially, oh my god, that is a, uh, that is a burst laser mark two, or burst laser two, and that looks like it is a ion weapon from hell. Yeah, this is, this is going to get nasty very quickly. I'm not confident in my ability to survive this attack, especially if cloaking doesn't go in time. Please, there we go. Burst laser down. Probably should have fired that missile moments sooner, but still got it. Cloak him in just in time. That could have ended way worse. As my oxygen seems to be the really vulnerable system of the day. I don't know what that's all about. Alright, we'll just finish it with the Artemis. There we go. As long as we don't have a bunch of dodging ships right now. Nothing useful in the station. Sounds about right. So there's another store. Maybe we can play in the Lotus Fields a little bit and see what we get for this because we got to watch our missile counts. Ship doesn't look particularly dangerous. It doesn't have a super high health count. And I have two shields now, so that should do something for me. In fact, I'm probably just going to use two hull missiles here since they can't board me right now and they can't actually hurt me, so... We can just chill here for a little bit. Just please hit. There we go. One in the rear. And one in the other room, I guess. 
Not entirely sure. Oh, it's lighting up because I'm putting my icon over it. Shows what I know about this game. I've played a long ass time in it and I'm just like, Duh, why is this lighting up yellow? Boom. Bye bye. And I'm pretty sure it's been in there the whole time. Two missiles, so that was actually a missile neutral fight. And we get some hull repairs, so great. And we're gonna save up some scrap just to see what we can get from that store. So far, getting a pleasant amount of ship encounters. Uh, using two missiles. Yeah, let's do it. Now that slowed him down there, so that's all that did. I was maybe hoping for like some other bonus reward as maybe you can sometimes get, so that was a good jump. Let's just go to the store. 57 scrap is not awesome. There's not a lot of missile or bomb weapons we can get. In fact, about the only thing that's really going to do us a lot of good at this point is probably a scrap recovery arm. Just because it's so early, uh, automated reloader can be good just to get my missiles to fire faster, but I want to be able to get more scrap if I can survive long enough, which is a big ass if. So let's see. Oh god, another burst laser 2 iron weapon. I hope it's not the... that looks like a mini iron or a little iron mark 1, so... It's not as dangerous, but it's still pretty painful looking. And of course we get a miss on there. So these hull missiles, I don't really feel comfortable targeting systems unless it's vital for me to do so. So hopefully the Artemis will hit this time. There we go. So now I'm not going to go ouchie. This is going to be a four missile encounter. But their weapon room is on fire, so that's a plus. Wow. Oh, that's right, because the room exploded. That was extra damage. All right, so extra missile, extra scrap. Not terrible, unfortunately. Yet another dead end. But we are getting some extra scrap ever so slowly. My med bay's down. I probably should work on that. So let's send... Since you all walk so damn slow, let's just send you over here to repair. Boom. They even repair slow. Is that part of the rock person MO? I can't remember anymore. No, just movement speed's half. Repair speed, apparently, though. That Just punching the floor, making the metallic clang. That's apparently enough. I know that's what it sounds like when I try and repair things. So 35 scrap. I would love to get more before I go to that store. So if I go down here, up here, then over there, I may be able to make it work. Or maybe I'll get a free weapon floating around. Yeah, we're going to sell our drone parts. Because drones are not part of today's challenge. There's the exit. Would have preferred not to have jumped on the exit like that, but there we go. Nothing here except for a slaver. I'm going to attack you, and I think I'm going to go for the crew instead of the kill. So we'll see. I think that's a dual laser. But I only want to use two missiles, so... Pike Beam's going to do some damage, but amazingly did not take out my engines. So if I attack with the Artemis, that's probably going to end the encounter, but... Okay, so there's your damn pipe beam right there. These weapons are just timed perfectly. There's not a lot I can do about that. So one more missile down. Down to 15. And accept their offer. We get human slave. Go to shield. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Okay, so we got one more encounter. We're going to have to buy some fuel and some missiles for sure. Intruders on deck. Um, let's see here. Do I want the Mantis? Now, the Mantis Fugitive can sometimes blow up your ship from the inside and really screw you up. And I don't have special doors. It was a trap! Yay! We're sitting ducks. We have a boarding party. We just lost some hull there, but they don't seem to have a transporter. So that's what I get for being a sucker. Oh, damn it. I didn't even notice the defense drone. This is going to be a nasty fight, because I'm going to have to shoot both of these missiles at the same time. Try and take out their drone control first. Ah, oh, Okay. I'm going to have to run from this one. This is just not... I'm going to use too many 
too many missiles to not make this happen. When missiles are the preciousest of all commodities, and there's no way I'm going to make up the cost. So while the ship can't hurt me, because of the limitation of the challenge, pretty much a, a defense drone, even a defense drone 1 is a dead stop. At least until I can get some kind of bomb here, and now that my shields are on fire, especially good reason to go to the store. Now we don't want Ken to die. Unfortunately, two scrap recovery arms are interesting, but not as interesting as, like I said, I don't want Ken to die. really prefer him not to. Okay, oh, I just clicked off of you on accident. Maybe Ken is about to die, I don't know. Ken, please leave. Thank you. That was way too close. That was like three attempts to actually save Ken. So we are not going to buy a second scrap recovery arm. It's not going to do me a lot of good. I wanted there to be more missiles. I guess for now what we are going to do is upgrade the doors. Oh, not what I want to do. Doors, that's right. Fortunately, they will let you undo that. Given options. So there we go. Fire's almost out. Ken's almost up. We're going to see what the end of the sector looks like. As, do you have all your health? You do. I'm not doing terrible. I'd much rather have 20 missiles. That last encounter just sucked because I didn't see the defense drone because I'm stupid. But we'll make do with what we can. Let's just go ahead and send you all on your way and jump to the exit that we've already been to. So there we go. That's sector two done. Getting some shields up. And NG Homeworlds or NG Controlled Sector. Let's go for the Homeworlds because that gives us more options plus the potential to unlock a special event. And you can see how to get the NG ship, which is actually a surprisingly complicated encounter. Or at least a, uh, you gotta look at it right. Now we don't have any NG crew, so I can't actually get the NG ship. But let's escort someone out of here again for fuel. 32 scrap. I'm gonna go for these distress beacons. I don't know if that store is going to have a lot for me. Maybe if I can tuck my way back down there. Because I don't think... Oh, a simple description of the frequency tells you that they're having a frantic discussion about something obviously troubling them. This is the event for getting the NG ship, but because I don't have NG crew... So... Unfortunately... Oh god, three stores all in a row. I hate it when this happens. Ugh, I'm going to have to get some ship repairs too, probably. I said, um... So, can I take you out in two missiles? Let's find out. So I don't want to use too much more than that, and this ship is probably going to be pretty dangerous. Maybe I should have just scrapped it. But fortunately, the ion weaponry is not going to do a ton of good. As long as I can just keep dodging. So let's see here. That's... Oh, miss! That's not good. That's also not good. Because now that means all of the missiles can hit, so I have to use my Artemis. As much as I didn't want to there. Well, at least that means I can take out the ship in one more go. Alright. Was hoping to do that a little bit better, but two missiles dampens the blow just a touch. So let's go up here. I'm only going to hit one of these stores. So let's go ahead and go here, see if the other one's connected to that node, and we'll just keep going. So it's here, lots of automated ships today. With the beam drone this time, this is a little uh, touchy. And the hull, what I, one thing I don't like is that my hull missiles are not gonna do a lot of good here. And it's gonna take me two, four, it's gonna take me way too many missiles to do this. I'm just gonna skip this fight. Oh boy, well I'm gonna try and skip this fight. I don't know if that's necessarily gonna work. Because that is a uh, system bomb right there. That is stuff on fire. Need to get shields up. Fortunately, the uh, rock plating is saving the day. So that is a uh, system damage bomb, I think. Ken, once again, hurting like a little person that he is. Because he's not cool and made of stone. So yeah, just gotta try and escape. And this is where challenge runs gets interesting sometimes because you have to kind of pick and choose your encounters. 
Because it's not. Oh, damn it. That is not good. Because I want to get out of here. I don't want to spend six missiles for something that's going to have a very poor return on investment, but right now I am getting obliterated. I just got to get. I'm almost out. Almost out. So close. This, seriously, again. Alright, this game's just having fun with me now. How many more times are they going to target my engines? Because once once I get there, I can jump. I probably could have actually weaved and jumped that in there a little bit. So we are going to be avoiding that fight like hell, which hopefully does not screw us against the pursuing re rebel fleet. I almost couldn't pronounce that. Alright, so firebomb, something I can use. Ion bomb. Those are all weapons I can use, or... You know what, I'm going to have to check real quick and see, was it really missiles only? Let me do a quick pause and double check the rule book. Oh, hybrid, you sneaky devil. It is missiles only, truly missiles only. So those tasty, tasty bombs right there are a no-go. Meaning that I'm going to have to use precious scrap on precious things like this. And just hope for the best with what I got because technically if you get enough missiles you can make do with the uh, early going here but right now some of these encounters are just really screwing me up so I gotta find my way towards the exit here we'll see if we can do that should be fairly not complicated I guess oh until we get raise your shields okay that is two defense drones I cannot actually defeat that. So we're just gonna fly on. And Elenoob is gonna need healing. You two are actually both gonna need healing. Might as well use this time to heal while it's all charging up. Having the station man does not increase the rate of charge and I could just sit here and let Ken level up on shields because this ship's just gonna keep firing and they can't hurt me. But to be honest, I don't feel like sitting here all day waiting for this to charge up. So that's disappointing. These are encounters I'd love to have, but you just you just can't do that against these type of drones. Not without a Pegasus missile or something. So we'll just fly on. Apparently the Rebel Fleet has an idea of what is going on. It's kind of like endless space in that way where they see what your ships are using and they try and counter it, but except this time I am just strangled by rules set by viewers who want to watch me struggle and cry. And I get a glaive beam, which is going to be very good to sell. But not too much more than that. We'll just have to see where is the exit and how can I connect to it. Probably coming pretty soon, so... Here we go. Finally a ship I can attack. Unfortunately it has a gigantic missile that's going to hurt a lot. So I probably am just going to take a risk here and use the Artemis missile to take out their weapon system. Hopefully, there we go. Because I do not want that missile firing on me. And that opens up the door for two whole missiles to win. Because it'd be three missiles regardless. Yay, addition skills. Who knew elementary school math would come in handy years later? So I just get to sit and wait because the whole missile does take its dear sweet time to charge. And of course the whole missile takes its dear sweet time to miss. Here comes incoming missile. Three damage. I can live with that. I just did not want it to hit my missile room because that would have made me a sad panda. Yes, panda. That is exactly what it would be. So there we go. They're dead. That Artemis was key because... Oh, let's see. Two missiles for four missiles spent. Not awesome, but... Okay, so this is what's connected to the exit. Apparently this exit's going to be a bitch to get to, and that's okay. So Rebel Fleet in Hot Pursuit, this is a uh, one or two shot laser, hopefully just one shot laser. They're not transporting on. I'm gonna wait to use the Artemis before determining whether or not their weapon loadout's dangerous. Does not look like it's lined up and timed properly, so I think I'm gonna be okay if I just use three missiles here. That's right, these encounters are just wait for the hull missile, wait for the hull missile, but I guess it's not too different from waiting for uh, all my lasers to line up and then glaive beaming if I were on the stealth beam. Okay, so now they're trying to run. And 
Let's see here, if this hull missile doesn't take him out, or if I get an FTL jump imminent, then I'm gonna... Oh, there we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. Didn't want to have to do that, but better than getting absolutely nothing out of this encounter for losing two missiles. So 21 scrap. We gotta kind of keep our scrap in order here. Let's really hope... Maybe I should get an FTL jammer or something for this, but let's see. Repair 5 damage for 10 scrap. I don't even have 10 damage. So there we go. Next options for the next sector are going to be the Mantis Homeworlds or a Pirate Controlled Sector. And I think we're going to have to go for the Mantis Homeworlds because Pirate Controlled Sectors are annoying as shit. So that's it. We are currently on a missiles only, and thank you for this channel suggestion. Missiles only run. I am at 10 missiles. I cannot use boarding parties or anything, so this is going to probably get very ugly very fast next episode. But at least for now, here I am at the start. Here's our sector map for the next time. No stores or salvation in sight. Probably just an army of mantis waiting to claw my face off. That's way to fail, or this is way to fail with an FTL challenge run part one. That's it for now. See you next time.